now that we created our brand new service let's actually use it so what we'll do is we're going to inject our auth service into the login component and then we'll we'll call that login method within the service and get back an observable and we'll so we'll be calling this login method and this login method is going to give us back an observable and then later on we'll subscribe to it and just log something out to the console to let us know if we successfully um, subscribe to it or not uh, down in the description you'll find this link this link tells you about observables and we're going to be referencing this later on in the video so let's first thing inject our service into our login component and we have actually already been injecting things into services and components we we did that right here we injected the HTTP client into our our service we also did that within our values component we injected the HTTP, HTTP client in our component as well so now we're going to inject something into our login component and we're going to be injecting our service so let's copy this actually and we go in here inside the constructor uh, private and you can call this anything you want I'll call it auth service just keep it the same and then paste this then we want to make sure we bring this in uh, bring it in from our services all service very good and this error here I don't, I don't know why I'm getting that it's just a bug there we go just give it a kick it, it fixes it okay so now within our uh, submit on submit now we'll call our all service so let's actually copy this so this oh and there it is I don't even need to uh, copy it and then we'll call that login method and then we'll pass in the form values so f dot value and that should pass that in and then this should give us back an observable if I click on the click on this this is going to give us back an observable and then now we can subscribe to it and if we go and check out the documentation out they show you uh, how to subscribe to an observable and if we go back here and we open up this and this tells you all about observables and down here I found a really uh, great snippet like here are the handlers we're going to be using we're going to be using the next and error in this video we're not going to actually use the complete though uh, we're, we're only using these two handlers but uh, here they create observables this these are a couple ways you could create observables and here they're using the of to create an observable now I actually really like the way they're doing it here they they set up their handlers here and they just create a variable and then here they subscribe to it and pass in the variable like in the past I always done it this way I always uh, subscribe to an observable this way and then just put all my handlers right in here but uh, I'm gonna do it the way they're doing it here I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit so let's actually just copy this and go back to our project so let's go and subscribe to it and then in here we'll pass in all our handlers and then so I'll just go right above it right here paste this and here we'll just change this up I'm gonna get rid of this complete I'm not gonna use that in this case we're, we're going to be using that in the future though and then get rid of this we don't need that there and then this I'll just change like user logged in or something like that That'd be good and I don't really need to console log this I'll just get rid of this okay and then here if we did not successfully log in we'll just log out the error I'll get rid of this and I'll just log it instead of using error okay and that's that's good now we can copy this or actually change the name to this though change it to like login observer that'd be good now copy it and just paste that in here okay I like that a lot better than doing it the other way and then we can get rid of these console logs we don't need them anymore okay now let's uh, make sure we boot up our server and boot up our angular application open up the command line I already have them running so here I got the server running and in the other window here I have the front end running so uh, they're both running uh, let's go to the front end and check this out let's see if we can log into our new account so I have an account called test5 so test5 and then the password is 12345 don't tell anyone okay and let's open up our uh, console right click 
inspect, and then console. It should tell us that we're, we're successful if we log in. And yes, so user logged in. Now let's pass in a wrong password and hit send again. Okay, so we get 400 bad requests. That's exactly what we want for now. Now later on, we're gonna build like a messaging thing where uh, it, it puts out the message very nicely. This is good for now. Let's check out one more thing if we go into our application. And here, if we click on local storage, we uh, stored our token inside here, and that's exactly what we want. Later on, we'll, later on, we'll be plucking that token out of there and using that, you know, to pass back the use of our other APIs. So that is in there. And the, by the way, we said that in the last video. If we go back here, and we go in here and open up our service, uh, we're doing that right here. We're setting that token. So if we go back here, and one more thing I want to check out is the network. And here we made a call. Uh, this was our bad request call, and that was 400. That's good. Let's go and just check this out again and open this up. So we got 200 OK, and we called our API, localhost 5000 API, off login. And that's, that's all looking really good so far. Now, in the next video, we'll start working on our register methods. So we'll set that up within the service and also within the component. And we'll start on that in the next video. So I'll see you then. Thank you.